Hello everyone, I'm Zahid Abbas. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Matculus. In this video, we are going to prove that square root of 2 is an irrational number. Before moving to the proof, let's deal with a few questions first. Number 1. What are rational numbers? Number 2. What are irrational numbers? And number 3. What are even numbers? We also need to know some important characteristics of these numbers. Let's start with rational numbers. Rational numbers. Rational numbers are those numbers that can be expressed in P by Q form, that is fractional form, where P and Q both are integers and Q is not equal to 0. Think about some rational numbers. Yes, it's 1 by 2, it's 5 by 7, 4 by 8, yes, 4 by 8 is a rational number also, but it can be reduced to an equivalent rational number 1 by 2. Alright, what is about 2 and 5 and minus 3? Are these numbers rational? Yes, these numbers are rational also because 2 can be written as 2 by 1, 5 as 5 by 1 and minus 3 as minus 3 by 1. In fact, all the integers are rational also. And one thing more, a rational number can be a reducible fraction or an irreducible fraction of integers. A reducible fraction can be changed into an irreducible fraction and vice versa. For example, 4 by 8 can be written as 1 by 2. We have to divide both the numerator and denominator by 4. Similarly, 1 by 2 can be written as 5 by 10. We have to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the number 5. Hence, every rational number can be written as an irreducible fraction. There is not such a rational number that cannot be written as an irreducible fraction. Let's move to irrational numbers. Irrational numbers. The numbers which are not rational are irrational numbers. That is, these numbers cannot be written in fractional form of integers. Think about some irrational numbers. Pi. The most famous irrational number is pi. Calculators give the value of pi as 3.14159 so on. The pi is an irrational number. Stop. If pi is an irrational number, then why do we use pi is equal to 22 by 7? Remember, we cannot express an irrational number in fractional form of integers, whereas 22 by 7 is a fraction of two integers, 22 and 7. The answer is pi is not equal to 22 by 7 but it is approximately equal to 22 by 7. Calculators give the value of 22 by 7 in decimal fraction as 3.1428 so on which is not same as that of pi. So we can't, so we can't write pi as a fraction. E. Euler number. The second important irrational number is E. It's the Euler number. Pronounce E-U-L-E-R as Euler. Its value is 2.7182 so on. Square root of a non-square number. Square root of a non-square number is also irrational. 
so square root of 2 square root of 3 square root of 5 etc all are irrational numbers let's learn about even numbers now even numbers a number is even if it is exactly divisible by 2 in other words we can say that the multiples of 2 are even numbers so 2 4 6 8 10 so on are even numbers 0 is an even number 2 minus 2 minus 4 minus 6 so on are even numbers also here I am going to introduce some important characteristics of even numbers square of even numbers square of an even number is also an even number you may check it yourself square root of an even square number Square root of an even square number is also even. Square numbers, even square numbers and square roots of even square numbers. Square numbers are those numbers which are squares of integers. 0, 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, etc. are square numbers as they are squares of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so on. Among these square numbers, 0, 4, 16, 36, 64, so on, are even square numbers. They are squares of even numbers. You can check square roots of these numbers are even. Now we move to the next step that is to prove square root of 2 as an irrational number. In order to prove it, we adopt a way in which first we assume that square root of 2 is a rational number. But later, our supposition or assumption comes not true and leads us to a contradiction. And hence, we conclude that square root of 2 is an irrational number. For the said purpose, we use the property of rational numbers that every rational number can be written as an irreducible fraction of integers. And if we can't express a number as an irreducible fraction of integers, then it is not rational. Let's start the procedure of the proof. Assume that square root of 2 is a rational number. If it is, then we can write it as an irreducible fraction. Mathematically, square root of 2 is equal to A over B. Say, where a over b is an irreducible fraction and a and b both are integers. The words say in the brackets show that square root of 2 is not actually equal to a by b. But we have assumed it. Note, if we prove somehow that a by b is an irreducible fraction of integers, then square root of 2 will be a rational number. Otherwise, it will be irrational. Now, if square root of 2 is equal to a by b, then by taking square of both sides we have 2 equals a squared divided by b squared. By shifting b squared on the other side of the equal sign, we get 2 into b squared is equal to a squared. Name it as equation number 2. It states that square of a is multiple of 2. That is, it is an even number. And as square of a is even, so a is also even. Remember, square root of an even square number is also even. 
Now keeping the fact in mind that even numbers are multiple of 2, we can express A as a multiple of 2. Mathematically, A is equal to 2M, say, where M is any integer. Note the word say in brackets again. Now we can write equation 2 as 2 into b squared equals 2m whole squared. 2 into b squared equals 4m squared. And b squared is equal to 2 into m squared. This equation shows square of b is multiple of 2 and so it is even. If square of b is even, then b is also even. So we can express b as multiple of 2. Mathematically, b equals 2n, where n is any integer. Hence, equation number 1 can be written as square root of 2 equals a by b equals 2m over 2n which is not irreducible. It can be reduced to get a simpler fraction m by n, which is against our supposition that a over b is an irreducible fraction of integers. Hence, square root of 2 cannot be written as an irreducible fraction of integers. So it is not a rational number. It means it is an irrational number. And this is the end of this video. Thank you for being with me. Stay happy. Goodbye.